Uh, so shooting 9 and shooting 45 shouldn't really be uh, that much of a difference, especially for a big guy like me. You can, once you can grip it well and, and, and hold it. You know what, speaking of that, let's talk, uh, let's talk about the grip while we at it. Uh, I was here yesterday, there was an old timer uh, uh, shooting, his, uh, shooting his gun, his new 365, and he kept shooting low left. But also notice that when he, when he grabbed the gun, this is what he did. Okay, you see this? That's the worst thing you can do gripping the gun. You do that, your left hand virtually doesn't do anything. It's not a support hand anymore, it just flops there. And that, at that point, there's a good chance you're doing this with the gun and dropping the shot. So, uh, let's talk about the grip. You grip the gun as high as possible. See the webbing on my hand all curled up underneath the beaver tail? You go as high as possible with the right hand. I do that straight from the, from the, from the holster. Uh, that's the reason why I'm not a big fan of the scoop. I like to get my... Let me show you. I like to bring my hand down against the beaver tail and grab. This way, 9 out of 10 times I'm going to have a perfect grip. Yes, I might not be as fast as a scoop, but I'm gonna have a good, good uh, grip, I don't have to adjust it. Not saying the scooping the gun is bad. I mean, if, if you can do it and, and works for you, go for it. I know Applied Ballistic does the scoop draw and he's freaking fast, but it works for him. Secondly, this is, this is where your thumb is. Your thumb is up high. That creates all this real estate for your support hand. So you're gonna take the support hand and basically give it a little twist. Do this, so it fits right in that in that spot. Now everybody's hands different, so people with the with the shorter hands they might have to adjust the grip. I saw uh, Lena Mitchell, like, she holds it all the way here with the two fingers over the over the over the trigger guard, and it works for her. I met her; she's literally half my size. Okay, she's I don't know five feet and 120 pounds soaking wet, so she needs every help every advantage she can get on a gun to get a better grip. For me, I got a fairly large hands, so for me it works uh, the best way like that. I put my support hand in that free spot. At that point, I've wrapped, I've wrapped my, my support hand around. Now, if you look, I have a 360 degree grip on a gun. Now I can grab, I can squeeze it. It's sort of like when you uh, when, you, when you're squeezing the vice grips, that's what you want to do. And last thing you want to do is extend your arms like this and lock your elbows. At that point, you're just fighting, you're just fighting the recoil. You don't want to be fighting. Your hands are supposed to be shock absorbers. So you lock your wrist and, and your, your shoulders and your elbows are your shock absorbers. At that point, you can track that dot. It's really not about fighting the recoil, it's riding the recoil and tracking the dots so you can go from one target to another so you don't waste any time. By the time, by the, time the gun actually recoils comes back on a target, I'm, I'm tracking the dot. When I'm going to next target, as, as it recoils, I go, go to next target. I track the dot all the time. And you can do that because you're not fighting the recoil, you're managing it. All right, so that's just a quick on the grip. And that's why it doesn't really matter what caliber the gun is. Yeah, of course, you can throw in a 50 uh, 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 A&E or something in the mix. You can still shoot it, but now we're talking a huge gun and huge caliber. It's really not, not something you're going to see in competition. But uh, that's why you can see these guys shooting 45 in a single stack, and they're going to be shooting it just as fast and, and manage recoil it just as well as guys shooting the production gun. So please like, share, and subscribe and get in on my on my uh, on my giveaway on uh, 1911 go uh, watch the video i'll put a, i'll put a link in the description uh help me raise some money for my friends and for a chance to win a nice 1911 as always have fun keep shooting